Today I'm going to go through a tutorial for the timeless child portrait. First thing I'll do is set my white balance to daylight and we'll get jump into some exposure settings. The photo overall is pretty dark so we'll bring up the whites but that loses all the details in the clouds so I'm going to bring down the highlights a little bit. And you can see the blue patches showing through there. I'm going to bring up the shadow so we can see a little bit more detail in the hair. It'll look a little bit gray at first, but once we bring down the blacks, it should balance out nicely with the nice tonal range. You can see little bits of blue popping in there. That just means that I have the shadow clipping warning on. And where you see the red, that's the highlight clipping warning. Just lets you know when you have blown out areas in your photo. So I'm going to continue to adjust uh, my values to try to get rid of the areas that have that warning. A little bit is okay, but you don't want large expanses. I'm going to adjust the clarity, uh, increase that a little bit. And that's basically your local contrast in your image. Turn off the indicators. And now we'll adjust some of the color settings in the HSL tab. Um, I'm in the saturation sub tab. I want to increase the saturation of my red that will be the accent color for my image and I'm also going to make it a little bit cooler red that's just a personal preference the global saturation can be found in the default tab of program just so you don't have to do all the sliders at once in the HSL tab and I'm just gonna jump back in there and now we're gonna play around with the luminance now this is the brightness of the different uh, colors in your image increase the red and I'm going to increase the orange just a little bit. It'll help the, uh, the child pop out from the background a little bit and also bring the green down to further that separation. You don't want to go too dramatic in that tab. And now we're going to do some split toning. Um, basically this means that for this image we're going to warm up the highlights a little bit with a nice kind of golden hue and we're going to cool down the shadows. Now I like to uh, jack the saturation up all the way just temporarily so I can know what complementary shadow color to pick uh, to complement the highlight color. It's hard to do this when the saturation is really low. So we'll probably end up going with kind of the yeah, purpley blue now that that's set, we'll get the saturation values back down to something a little bit more normal. For your particular image, the, this would be a lot of kind of playing around, but hopefully you get an idea of my technique here. Just jumping back into the global saturation, three, try some different values there and then my split tone saturation values. And now the lens corrections, basically we're just gonna go the default ones in there. As far as the sharpening goes, we're gonna handle this in Photoshop and the noise correction as well. We do a little crop to get a little bit more engaging shot. Open it right up in Photoshop. I'm going to make a duplicate of that original layer and we're going to look at lighten up the eyes and the teeth. A little bit of level adjustments here. Both of them are kind of caught in a little bit of shadow so this will help them pop a little bit. 
going to make a quick mask and where it's black it's going to block out and where it's white it's going to reveal. So right now it's showing the background through the black and now we're revealing with the white on the eyes. You can see it looks very exaggerated here but that's just kind of a guide to help you as you're doing it. Don't worry, we'll tone it back right now. Something a little bit more normal. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Do a little bit on the teeth. Get some of those shadows out of there. Be a little bit more expressive for the child. Much better going to make a duplicate copy of that merged together and now we're going to do a sharpening pass. You want to desaturate it first because we're going to be doing a high pass filter. For the high pass filter you want to have sharp edges but not, not too much noise in the middle. I usually pick a value of about 4 and then I set my layer to luminosity and it allows it to blend in nicely with the image underneath. Now you don't want to sharpen the entire image, it's just going to be way too much. So we're going to selectively, uh, using the same quick, ma quick mask method, selectively sharpen areas that show expressiveness like the eyes and the mouth. You want to keep the skin nice and smooth. In order to get the red indicator on there to make your life a little bit easier, you can just press the backslash on your keyboard. I usually turn it on and off as I go, because I don't want to lose the big picture of what I'm doing either. If you ever make any mistakes, you can always switch between the black and white when you're painting out these areas. That's the beauty of using the quick mask. It doesn't actually alter your layer. That looks much better. I'm gonna blur it a little bit just so that we don't have, risk have any sharp ed edges. So we've got a nice seamless blend between the sharp areas and anything that may be a little bit less sharp. Now, the last stage that we're gonna do is some like, noise reduction. So I'm gonna duplicate those layers and just merge them together just to keep a flattened version of what we did so far. And go to filter, noise, reduce noise. I'm going to set it to the value of 10, 10, 0, and 0. It will always be different depending on the grain that's in your image. And turn that on and off to see the before and after. cleans that image up a little bit. Well that concludes the tutorial on the timeless child portrait. You can see the before and after we came a long way from camera raw to Photoshop. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Leave any comments. If you have any great ideas for different tutorials that you'd like to see, please let me know. And if not, we'll see you next week with some more.